Today we're going to look at using a writing prompt to create the basic structure of a good paragraph. A good paper follows the assignment instructions and provides the reader with organizational cues. Read the assignment instructions very carefully. They will give you hints about what you are expected to do. Here's the topic prompt. Explain your feelings about a prized possession. If your home caught on fire and you could save just one thing you owned, what would it be? Assume that no one was harmed. A reporter saw you run out of the house with your prized possession. She asks why it means so much to you. Give her three main reasons why the possession is worth saving. If your explanation is interesting enough, it will be quoted in her newspaper story. Proofread for any fragments. The key words here are, give her three main reasons why. So your job will be to decide on just one thing that you own and three main reasons why it means so much to you. Let's take a look at the example paper as a whole. Notice that it's about a page and it is within the 200 to 350 word limitation. Zoom in for a closer look. A netbook is a cheap little laptop that can be purchased anywhere and replaced easily. However, mine means so much because it holds all of my contacts, personal documents, and media. The three main points are clearly identified in the topic sentence. The reader knows the paper will cover contacts, documents, and media. The first signpost sentence, to begin, my saved contacts are my connection to my friends and family, provides the reader with information that the first point about contacts is going to be discussed. If I lost my netbook in a house fire, I would also lose all of their phone numbers, home addresses, and email addresses. It would take quite a while to get that inform information back, and for some of my long-distance friends and family, I might lose touch with them altogether. The second signpost sentence lets the reader know that we're moving on to the second main idea. Another reason I value my netbook so much is that it holds my documents. Notice that the word documents is linked up to the word documents in the topic sentence. I have just about every paper for every class I've ever taken in college saved on my netbook. That has to be about 500 papers that I can draw ideas from for future classes. I have also scanned in receipts of warrantied purchases like my new dishwasher from Lowe's and directions to places I like to go but do not often get a chance, like the Lowry Park Zoo. The third signpost sentence reminds the reader of what's been discussed while also referring to what's coming up. Just as important as the contacts and documents is the media stored on my netbook. The word media refers back to the word media in the topic sentence. I have put a lot of time into building my media library and I would hate to see that go to waste by losing my netbook in a fire. To illustrate, I spent several weekends in a row scanning family photographs and cleaning up the older pictures with photo software. I have also worked on organizing my music files for what feels like a year now. The last two sentences here provide the conclusion. Although it may not be sentimental, my netbook is my most prized possession. Notice that the actual words from the prompt are used. The final sentence here refers back to the topic sentence and reminds us of the three main points, but using different words. It helps keep me in touch with family and friends, stores all of my important documents, and provides me with hours of entertainment. The term family and friends refers to contacts, my important documents refers to, obviously to documents, and hours of entertainment refers back to media. 
You can write a great paper by reading the assignment instructions carefully and using words from the prompt to create strong topic sentences, signpost sentences, and a concluding sentence. Thank you for viewing this podcast. For additional information on the same topic, check out our podcast on example number two. For additional help on any of your writing assignments, stop by a writing lab at one of the Learning Support Commons locations.